Raw borehole water is fed into the RO system or reverse osmosis system through a booster pump to the chemical dosing chamber, usually filled with chlorine, to remove harmful microorganisms that may be present in the water. Water then goes into the resin chamber filled with a softener to eliminate dissolved salts such as magnesium, calcium fluoride and iron. From the resin chamber, water further proceeds into the sediment filters of 5 and 1 micron respectively for further filtration of suspended matter in the water. Before water enters the RO membranes, it is dosed with an antiscalant to prevent blockage of the membranes. Water is fed into the membranes through a high pressure pump so as to facilitate flow through the membranes. Each membrane works independently to purify approximately 250 liters of water. Water is fed into the membranes through a high pressure pump to facilitate microfiltration in the membranes. The RO membranes separate the incoming flow into two effluent streams. That is the permeate or purified water with greatly reduced amounts of dissolved salts and suspended particles. The other flow is the concentrate or reject water that still retains high amounts of impurities. The permeate is then passed through a chemical dosing pump that is with chlorine to adjust the pH so as to maintain the natural taste and stability of water. It is also passed through an ultraviolet light to sterilize the water before it proceeds to the storage tank or filling station. This is a control panel for the following functions. This is a power switch. When it is switched on, red light lights on to indicate that the machine is connected to a power source. The second switch is an operational switch to indicate when the machine is operational or when it's in the process of purifying water. This green light lights up to indicate that the machine is in the process of purifying water. This is a standby light that lights up when the storage tank is filled and thus switching off the purification process. Automatically, when the level of water in the storage tank reduces or decreases, the standby light goes out and the green light of operation lights up, indicating that the purification process has resumed.